much good. You too. I know the vibes. We don't know who's one of these car talks. You feel me? You heard? This one from early in the morning. I got a little bit more energy than I had then. So the so the one for Saturday is probably gonna be pretty good. So I, I got some serious energy right now. So we all good? But hey, hey. But I gotta get some lunch, meet up with Dylan, and, and then just chill out for the rest of the day. All right. All right. Uh, well, this is another episode of Car Talks, just because, you know, I got up really early today, and I don't know why, so I'm probably going to record two of these, so the one for Saturday will probably be also Friday, so if I say Friday at the end of the to at the end of today, that's why I'm saying Friday, but, dude, I, I swear I just made a revelation that paying for gas is really not all that bad. Because, like, I don't know how y'all's cars be, but, like, the car that I'm driving right now, it takes $20 to fill up three quarters. It takes, like, $25, $30. Yo, that's my mom and my grandma at freaking Waffle. I should punch them. I'm hungry as... Alright. I'm not even... It's not even... I'm like... Man, come on, man. I'm so damn hungry. That's bullshit. Um... But, uh, yeah, no, I was like, I was like, you yeah, know, I, I was like, no, I'm only paying 20. I don't feel like paying too much. And then I got in a car and I was like, there isn't much more to pay. It's almost full. Like, what? It's ridiculous. But, like, I always thought that, like, paying for gas was awful. But if it's $20 for, if, if it's $20 for three quarters, and that's really not all that bad. But uh, the other reason why I made a whole point about how I got up early. Well, I woke up at like 6.20. Which is ridiculous. Anyone that knows me knows that I get to school at like 8.25. 8.20. And we're supposed to be at school at 8.25. I'm probably going to get there at like 8. Which all in all, that just feels weird. But at least I know I'm not getting a late pass today. That's pretty good. But uh, y'all ever, y'all ever like, y'all ever have a teacher that moves back a quiz, and then that just like makes you feel like you're gonna fail the quiz. That's how I'm feeling currently. My English teacher, we didn't finish anything that we was doing yesterday. Like not a damn thing. We ran out of time. But, like, she said we move in the quiz to Monday, and I was like, if we, I feel like if we'd have took it today, I feel like I could have actually passed it. But if, if we take it on Monday, I don't feel like I'm going to pass it. Um, it's just something about that. But happy Friday, y'all. But still, this week was awful. Just adjusting from, you know, staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning, watching anime, to, uh... And waking up at like 10, 11, because my parents don't let me sleep longer than that, to still watching anime until 3 o'clock in the morning, but waking up at 6 or 7, which is awful. But, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do to be a weeb, you feel me? That's just what we do. We struggle through random shit. Probably shouldn't even be struggling. We should just take our ass to sleep, but still. I take I take naps. <laughs> I take naps. But uh, yesterday on stream, what were we playing? We played Tequila Zombies Two and we beat that. I had to sweat a little bit. And then we played. Uh, what was it? We played Secret Neighbor. And then someone in my chat said if you said a whole alphabet correctly i will give you a hundred dollars right so i i said the whole alphabet correctly and then i i probably i think i looked directly into the camera and said you're used to watching uh non-americans play this game because someone told me earlier is that there's like no uh english speaking speakers that stream secret neighbor there's like a couple 
So if you stream Secret Neighbor, you always in like the top five just because you like the only English speaker there. But I wasn't trying to sweat, so I kind of just had music playing and I was just chilling. Like, you, you feel me? But I never did get my hundred dollars, so I'm still kind of mad. It'd have been lit. That'd have been lit as hell. Um, but like, I don't know. But then I got bored of Secret Neighbor. Within the, within the first game, because someone that that locker glitch that we was talking about the last time we played it on stream that happened to somebody else. And I didn't feel like waiting five minutes, so I just got I got off that game and started playing. I think Massive Chalice, which I ain't played that game since in a while. Like I ain't actually played that game in a while, and it felt really weird to actually play that game. And then I got frustrated with that game. Because I got a bloodline relic, like the dude had a nickname and everything, but then he dies. Either he died or I put him as a region, and I probably put him as a region on accident. But he's gone, like he's gone from my vanguard, and I didn't get my bloodline relic, and I wanted to break my TV. It made me so mad, but that's beside the point. But still, um, because if he dies, if he died, then that just makes the last battle harder, because then I'm going to have to, it won't be from the first generation, it'll be from the second generation, which is the problem with the archers, um, and then, what did we do, oh, I ended up ending my stream after that, because then, uh, Dylan got on, and we finished our, uh, we finished our Seahawks and Jags, like, nine-year franchise, which, might I add, in that franchise, I made the Super Bowl every year. Every year, it was either the Browns or the Chiefs playing against me. And I lost seven times, got smacked seven times, like 41 to like seven or like 35 to 14. And I got smacked. And then I won twice. And then Dylan, he made the divisional round twice and didn't get, didn't get past that. But Dylan, he also, we were playing as owners, and his team was negative in funds on, like, year three. So then he relocated. But later on, they went negative in funds again. But it was because Madden low-key cucked him. Um, what it, Madden, so basically, he had, no, he had no funds. Like, he had basically no funds, so he couldn't give out signing bonuses. And he didn't know why. We didn't, I didn't know why. But it was because Madden made his, you know how quarterback contracts in Madden when you sign them are like really ridiculously high like like I signed Russell Wilson and in the, and in the bottom it said one, uh, one, ah, 154 million well his said 200 million and it was for one year so he was paying his quarterback because well he signed him to like a 4 or 5 year contract but on the last year Madden made him pay his quarterback 200 mil so he was negative like 120 mil just because of that and then he went in and we basically said he could cheat a little bit he went in and edited the quarterback's contract and he just couldn't get out of the negative fast enough because he was at like negative he he gained like 100 120 something mil in one year like he was the number one overall like uh yeah he was the number one overall franchise like he was the not the most wor worth but he was um, gaining the most money, which is, it was sad because he was negative, but he basically got fired because there wasn't anything he could do. But I'm pretty sure we realized now we're doing another one and I can't win anything. And he wins basically everything. So like, I think we realized something is that I'm a better owner than he is and he's a better coach than I am. I can't do that coaching shit, but I can damn sure be a, um, an owner. I don't know why that is, but I can be an owner in a matter of sense. But uh, basically, in the nine-year one, um, Russell Wilson was like there all nine years. Shaquille Griffin, who was like, I think he was like 27 or 26. He retired on like the, the eighth or ninth year. 
It's ridiculous. Like, Russ was still there. He was like a 77 getting MVP awards playing for the Lions because I couldn't re-sign him. But that was the thing, though. We said, or Dylan said, watch. When Russ, when Russ retires, you're going to be bad. And I think he probably should have worded it different. I think he should have said when Russ leaves because Russ never retired and I never did bad. Like, when Russ left, we lost four more games. We went from 15-1 to 13-1. Uh, and one. No, 12, 12 and 6, 12 and 5. I can't math it. I can't math right now. Um, but, yeah, no, we basically just only lost four more games. Which I'm pretty sure that was the year we won the Super Bowl because we didn't win a Super Bowl with Russ. I said I, said I was going to because that was the only way Russ was going to retire. And then my second Super Bowl was against the Lions with Russ. So, we ended up winning that one. Right, we ended up winning that one. But, you know, I don't even think, I don't think he retired that whole time. I mean, he was still playing quarterback for the Lions last time I checked. He was like 38. And then Derek Carr was still there, and he was 36. But, you know, and then in this current one, I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to, but there's a certain quarterback that's doing stupidly good. You're doing stupidly good on one team, but it's just not doing so hot on the other team, but it's all good. And then the freaking awards for this one is ridiculous. It's the most weird shit I've ever seen in my life. But, that's besides the point. Um, so basically, that's basically what I've been doing for like the past, uh, like, four months. Is playing freaking Madden franchises or streaming. I don't know. I just didn't like, I don't know. I like, I can't explain it, it's like I want, I wanted, I wanted edited content, but I can't edit, so I just, but I never had enough content, because I stopped recording, after, after like, I think it was three months ago, I just stopped recording, I just said I'm not doing it no more, but then, I'm back, I'm back to recording, so you should see like actual game content, I don't know how long it's going to take though, it's, it's probably going to take a good bit, but I'm probably going to go home, record the rest of, like, t today. I'm going to go home, record uh, some more of this franchise. And then we might even play Overwatch placements because Angelo got work today. I really don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. I don't want to get on that aggravating game. That game does nothing but piss me the fuck off. Unless I'm winning. And then I'm a happy boy. But, like... I don't know. I'm gonna get a lame day today. All the vibes in the air is just not there. It's cloudy. Uh, and the vibes is just not here today. I ain't even got I ain't even got a hood on. I hope it don't rain. Well I'm only here for three blocks, so it should be fine. But another thing that I'm having an issue with is is before break started, I left my MacBook charger. And I put this on everything that I love. I cannot find it. And I have the same third block. Like, but last year, my third block was full, so we moved to a different classroom. So it's probably still in the other classroom. I still need to keep peeking through the window to see if it's in there. Because if it's in there, then I'll, then I'll ask. But I haven't seen it in there, so I'm not going to ask if it's not in there. I'll probably stop by Lost and Found a damn way to math class, but... Laws. I've been having to use my dad's MacBook charger for like this week. And even if it is in that classroom, I can always just wait till the end of the month, which is gonna suck. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to use my dad's MacBook charger till the end of the month. But I can always wait till then and um, um, because the end of the month is uh club flex day and that's where the quiz team meets i'm gonna go in there grab my charger and bounce the fuck out because i am not doing no damn quiz team that ain't me that ain't me let's see if someone i knew is still on quiz team i just asked him to get it for me but i don't think he, uh, he's still he's not on quiz team no more 
almost, I'm almost to school, so we'll do this little end shit. But uh, I basically said what I, what I was gonna do for this, which is just don't let your dreams die. Because if your dreams do die, then there's really nothing for you to pursue in your life. And you can tell the people who let their dreams die because they always look agitated, aggravated. They look upset with everything. Uh, now, you do go through phases, right? Where you, like, say you want to do this, say you want to do that. Just leave that those in the back of your head. Because sometimes in little phases, they don't work out. Like, I had a phase where I said I was going to be a professional Overwatch player. Because that's when I was still having fun on Overwatch and I like climbing and all that. But then I kind of was like, nah, I don't know if I really want to do all this. But it's still in the back of my head. It's like, if I'm if I'm able to, then I will. Like, if I find enjoyment back in the game, like maybe when Overwatch 2 comes out and all that, then I will. But, like, that's just, it's, you just got to be, you got to be a little careful. Like, don't, don't let them, don't let them fully die out. Because if you let them fully die out, then there's really nothing for you to do. Nothing for you to, like pursue but if as long as you just let them kind of like sit there and mellow maybe one time one, one day once once you actually like get to uh, you once you get a foundation you can achieve that like i know a lot of people probably have goals to or dreams to like become a famous youtuber and that takes forever but like but like as long as they keep up, eat that keep uploading good content and all that and they should be fine. Now, me, that was never one of my goals, was to become a famous YouTuber. But if it happens, then, hey, hey, I'm not complaining. My goal was actually, believe it or not, my goal was to be able to create video games. Because my my sole passion in this, in this whole planet is video games. I hate to say it, but it is. I don't really, I don't really mess with people like that. Uh, like I'm just saying, like there's not there's not too much other than, that I could really think about doing. Cause like I I'm one of those people that really can't be barked at. Like you can't really yell orders at me because that just makes me mad. So it's not like it's most conventional jobs I can't do because there's always a boss kind of yelling at you. Unless I have a chill boss, then I'm good. But like I don't know. So that was that's my goal, that's my dream, and I'm still I'm working on making my own, but it just takes forever solo, which means I do need to get better at dealing with people, but uh, that'll come eventually. I promise, I swear. Right now it don't look like it's ever gonna come, but hey. Every time I say that, every time I say that, it, it something happens. But, yeah, no, this senior year has been doing a lot of things for me. I, I haven't been as shy. Like, this is probably my record-setting low year for my shyness. Like, I can actually, like, talk to people, so it's weird. But I feel like I'm finally actually, like, legitimately growing out of this, which is good. But, you know. Um, but once again, I finally have school. So, once again, just have a blessed day, y'all.